Look, Jody, it's Andy Griffith's home place. It is. It is. So awesome to be here. You can stay here. Uh, you can rent this uh, place uh, as a bed and breakfast, I believe, or whatever. On, uh, I believe it's owned by Hampton Inn. Boy, wouldn't it be nice if we could get in and see this today? Oh, that would be cool. Look at the beautiful That's flowers. 7-Eleven. Hey! Hey! John! Norm. Jody, how are you? Come on in! Yeah. We're getting ready to sit down and have a little bit of something to eat here in the kitchen. All right. All right. Well, come on in. Let's go visit Andy's house. Well, welcome. Welcome to the Griffiths Home Place. Uh, the Griffiths took this place over in uh, 1935. Uh, that would be, you know, Mr. Carl Griffith and Miss Geneva Griffith and their young little boy, Andrew Griffith. Um, it didn't look like this when they moved in. Now, it was a lot smaller. In fact, all this area over here was added on later when Andy made a little bit of money. Um, I'm not sure Geneva wanted uh, that really uh, added on to the house, but eventually Andy convinced them they needed a bigger place instead of buying a bigger place. So um, this was the new part. Uh, now, as we come in here, we got some, uh, I'm going to show you Andy's original bedroom. Andy's original bedroom. You ready for that? Okay, come on. We'll show you Andy's original bedroom. Well, here it is. Andy's original bedroom. I know, it looks like a kitchen. That's because it was the kitchen. Andy slept in the kitchen. Now, later on, they made an addition to the kitchen. Um, right next door, they put a little bit of summer porch on the back. And some folks said, you know, they... Uh, that we're doing Andy a little favor. We're gonna take you out there in just a second. Uh, put a sun porch on and the young man get out there and get some fresh air and have a good time and relax and fresh. I don't think that's the case at all. Now this is just my own opinion, but last thing I want is a 14 year old boy sleeping in the kitchen. Cause you're gonna wake up with a whole lot of nothing in the refrigerator and the cabinets if that's the case. So let me show you where Andrew got to move out to a little bit later. This would be it right here. Now, it's awful fancy looking right now, but this actually would be the teenage bedroom of Mr. Andrew Griffith right here. Just think about the things he was thinking about. What it was was football. Oh yeah, all kinds of one of drinking big oranges and eating hot dogs at the snappy lunch until your belly was going to bust. And uh, I could just see that happening here. So uh, I don't know, what do we do, John? You think we should try it out? What's that? The bed? Yeah, got to try it out. I mean, you think, Mike, may, may, could this make me a better, funnier comedian and a better actor? Just laying in the same spot where Andy slept, you think that could happen? I, I doubt it. It wouldn't hurt. <laughs> you could try it. We'll go, let's try it. Let's see. <sighs> oh. Oh, I can feel it coming now. Romeo, Romeo, wherefore out thou, Romeo? Well, I'm right here. Uh, yeah, I'm already better. Yeah, so uh, you get a chance to come here and stay. You can book it through the Hampton Inn. And we're not doing a commercial, but they do own the place. And they gave us permission to come in here and look around at Andy's boyhood home. Um, and it's two-night minimum. And it books anywhere from $200 to $400 a night, depending on the time of year. Now, two weeks ago was Mayberry Days. I'm gonna tell you right now, you cannot get in this place during Mayberry Days. Do you know when's the next reservation available? 2040. That'll be 17 years from now is when you can stay here on Mayberry Days. That's how popular it is. Yeah, bunch of good actors coming out of there now after they've been sleeping in that bed. Got to be, funny stuff. We just coming on in here. So this, this would have been the new part of the house over here. We were talking about that. It got added on. Andy paid for it to get that taken care of. Um, part of the byproduct of Andy wanting his mama to have a bigger house. You see, Geneva always wanted a picture window. And uh, sure enough, Andy wasn't going to get her just any picture window. He was getting her the fanciest picture window you could ever get in all of 1948. 
and that would be a picture window just like that i mean it's all 100 percent aluminum and if you know anything about what they call mid-century modern my daughter told me the other day that i was mid-century modern i don't know if that's a good thing or not but um we're going to go ahead and take a look at that picture window this is state of the art i mean it don't get any better than that because you've got uh the spinners on here now they're done taking them off because we don't want people opening them up but um, you could open them louvers up and let the fresh mountain air in and uh, you know what you want to look out the window and see exactly what Andy Griffith used to see the water tower right across the street sure enough So it's been there for a while then it's been there before yeah I think it's been there before the house it's been there quite a while Oh, now you done broke it. We got you on film. I can't take you anywhere, John. Prop issues. I'm where's telling the, you. Where's the prop master at? Well, I, I, he done left. Don't touch it. Don't breathe. We, we broke the window. He broke the window. I didn't break the window. Well, you fixed the window. Then. I fixed the window. All right. Well, you ready to go? Yeah. We have been inside. Not many people get to stay in here. Uh, because it is so busy and we want to thank our friends uh, Lanice Lynch up at the Hampton Inn for giving us a little bit of permission to come in here and run around Andy's house so uh, you all come back and see us real soon and we're gonna head out to the fishing pole and do some fishing ponds out there or ponds and poles and all kind of things I'm just so excited about being in here my mouth don't work no more all right come on let's go what do we do next? I don't know. Where we're going, Norm, you know. Well, I'll What's tell you what. Why don't we go down to WPAQ and, uh, well, actually, we're going to go to the Earl Theater. WPAQ, we'll save for tomorrow. Uh, let's go to the Earl Theater and uh, talk to another good friend of mine, uh, Jenny Lowry. And we're going to talk about Tommy Jared and uh, a little bit of bluegrass and old-timey country music. Sounds good. Let's go. Let's go ahead and do it. You want to? Get away from my house! Get away from my house! I did. It's the next thing I was going to buy. Don't tell her. I just want her to be surprised. What are y'all? What are y'all doing out in front of my house? Well, that dog bit me. I'm gonna sue you now. Oh, it wasn't my dog. It ain't your house. He asked me. He said, he said, does your dog bite? I said, no. And the dog bit him. He said, I thought you said your dog don't bite. And I said, it ain't my dog. I did have that happen. Is, is there some police activity going on over here or something that there's so many police cars in front of this house? Because we were thinking about staying here overnight, but, but not with all this police activity. Well, uh, yes. All right. Is he a local? He, no, not yet. He wants to move in with me at my house. I, I, want to do that. I know you do. <laughs> you just want the cookies. Get away from my house. Stop taking pictures of me. There ain't nothing to see here. Well, now Barney. Yeah. Here at the Rock, there are two rules. She knows Barney. Rule number one no, obey all rules. Rule number two no writing on the wall, therefore, it's hard and difficult to remove said writing from the wall. There are the rules. Here at the Rock. No more peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. That's right, Leon. Once you hear that cell door clang, you know it's all over.